Giovanni, we've got a magnetic five axis solution here. Can you talk me through the process? Yeah, Joe. Uh, this is uh, Miltech from Technomagneti. Um, this is a magnetic solution for fifth axis machining, um, predominantly for medium to, uh, to large sized components. Um, the advantages of this system over, for example, a centric gripper is that you haven't got to leave excess material on the billet, uh, you haven't got to pre-op the billet, and then you haven't, you, there's no need for a further operation then to remove the excess material. Not only that, you've got full, uh, full access to all five sides of the component, um, additional clearance for the spindle, and you can even get under edge machining. And that's purely held on by a magnet? Yeah, it's permanent electric magnetism. So that will stay permanently magnetised until you reverse the polarity. And they can also be interfaced with the machine. So if you wish to robot load, it can be interfaced with the machine. What happens when there's a power cut? It will stay permanently magnetised until you reverse the polarity. That's clever. And with here, we've got a ball nose milling finishing process. What happens if we're roughing, I presume? we wouldn't achieve the same results as using the vise. You'll get better results than using the vise. Um, because you, you've got full surface contact area with the magnet, um, for that particular size, it's 200 by 300 mil square. There's approximately six ton clamping force there, pull down. If you're using a vise, you've only got a two point location. So you could get vibration. Because of the pull down force, six ton, you can hit the parts faster, harder, less vibration. Okay, so if I tilt it over at 90 degrees on the five axis machine, or maybe even the horizontal, you're telling me we can hit that material hard? Yes, it works exactly the same in theory. It's six ton clamping force. And the larger you go, the greater the clamping force. So these magnets go up to one meter in diameter. So the greater the surface area covered, the greater the clamping force you'll achieve. Okay, and this is obviously a five axis machine. Straight away I'm thinking mold and die, it'd be great for those, wouldn't it? Yeah, perfect application uh, for mold and die. For any complex um, fifth axis component um, that's, that's of a size above 150 mil square, um, in my opinion, it's the best solution for that kind of application. You know, it, like say, saving setup times, cost on additional operations, um, no, like it's clean system, no mechanical clamps. And I know the top's machinable, so we could put some zero point system in there if we needed to. Yeah, you can either put the zero point system into the pole extensions with the introduction of a round and diamond pin set, or you can put them directly into the face of the Miltech magnet. It's new painted technology. That top surface is fully machinable down to a depth of 15 mil. The old, the old technology used to be resin in between the poles, um, so it wasn't fully machinable in all areas. So, yeah, you can round, put round and diamond pin sets in for zero point location um, or for robot loading, or if you wanted to put your centric gripper on there to do aluminium work as well. So it does give you a, a universal system for lots of applications. So is this likely to replace a, a five axis vice, do you think? Um, no, it's application specific. The, the, the fifth axis vice will, will be there for smaller work, um, but in my opinion, for larger metallic work, this is the perfect solution.